Hi there! Today we'll be learning about a very special heart condition called truncus arteriosus. But first, we will learn about your heart and how it works. Your heart can be found in the middle of your chest and has a very important function in circulating blood and oxygen all around your body. Your heart has four chambers. The two upper chambers are called atria. There is a right atria and a left atria. The bottom two chambers are called ventricles. You have a right ventricle and a left ventricle. The right side of your heart receives blood with no oxygen from your body. The left side of your heart receives blood containing oxygen from your lungs and sends it to the rest of your body. When blood comes from your body, it enters the right atrium and then goes to the right ventricle through a valve called the tricuspid valve. From the right ventricle, the blood then goes to your lungs through a pulmonary valve into the pulmonary artery. Arteries always carry blood away from the heart. In the lungs, your blood is given oxygen by the oxygen you breathe in. Your blood containing oxygen is then sent back to the heart through your pulmonary veins. Veins carry blood to the heart. The oxygen carrying blood then enters the left atrium. The left atrium sends the blood through a bicuspid valve into the left ventricle. From here, the heart pumps this blood to the rest of your body. The blood travels up through the aortic valve into your aorta and then to the rest of your body, including your arms, legs, head, and many more places and organs. Your body will then use the oxygen to function, and once all the oxygen is used up, the blood will Go back to your heart and this process will start all over again. Now we will talk about the very special heart condition that is truncus arteriosus. You were born with this special disease which only 1 in over 10,000 children are born with. When you were in your mom's tummy, the artery that carries blood to your lungs and the artery that carries blood to your body were supposed to split into two different arteries. In your case, the split didn't happen, so your heart looks like this when you were born. Instead of having two arteries with two valves, you had one big artery with one valve. Because of this, the blood with no oxygen on the right side of your heart would combine with the blood with oxygen from the left side of your heart. Too much blue blood was going to your lungs and too little red, oxygenated carrying blood was going to the rest of your body. In the first few months of your life, some very smart doctors performed multiple surgeries in order to fix your heart. The goal of these surgeries was to create a separate flow of blood to your lungs and a different flow of oxygen-rich blood to your body. The first surgery was to close the hole between these two chambers of your heart using a patch. During the next surgery, doctors separate the pulmonary arteries from the common artery and connect them to the right ventricle using a conduit. To make a new blood vessel. The original large vessel is then reconstructed to create a new aorta. As you grow up, your heart grows bigger and bigger. As your heart gets bigger, the special blood vessel that the doctors gave you when you were a baby becomes too small. Because of this, doctors need to make it bigger. The doctors do this by using a very small balloon pump attached to a catheter and pump the artery bigger and bigger until it fits your growing heart. After treating your disease, you are still at risk for some heart problems. One of your valves may become leaky and let blood flow backwards. Your heart may beat differently than a normal heart. You can also have high blood pressure. You know, that thing that grandma and grandpa have to worry about? All of these together can make it really hard for your heart to pump blood to the rest of your body. Your heart tries to work harder and when it does, there is not enough oxygen getting to the heart to keep it working, so it starts to fail. You may need a heart transplant to fix this problem. You may be wondering now, how will my life be different from other children who don't have truncus arteriosus? It's not that much different. You can still play sports, and your doctor will be able to tell you the best ones for you to play. You can still hang out with friends and go to school. Overall, you can still live a normal life with this heart condition. It's just your heart works in a different way. But that's what makes you special.